Hello, Fame Story TV family, and welcome back to our channel. In the last 24 hours, we have received the sad news of the passing of the extraordinary talents, and today's episodes is dedicated to honoring their memory. But today we bring you updates on the unfortunate events surrounding Marie Osmond. Before we start, I kindly ask for your support if this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your heart. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Kristen Halenga was born on 11th November 1985 in Germany. Halenga was a West German-born British columnist and philanthropist. Diagnosed with breast cancer in 2009, when she was 23, she became an activist for raising awareness about the disease among young people and founded the charity Kappa Feel. She was an honorary graduate of Nottingham Trent University. Halenga was profiled in Chris, Dying to Live, a documentary that covered her experience with terminal breast cancer. In 2009, she won a Pride of Britain Award. In November 2014, Halenga was featured as a special guest on Russell Howard's Good News, where she talked about her charity and experiences. Her memoir, Glittering a Turd, was published in 2021, and it became a Sunday Times bestseller. She lived in Newquay, Cornwall. Halenga and her twin sister Marin decided to devote themselves to educating young people about breast cancer. They launched Kappa Feel, a breast cancer awareness charity, at Beach Break Live in 2009. Halenga died at the age of 38, and she died from breast cancer. Tribute to the Star Susan Buckner was born on January 28, 1952, in United States. Buckner was an American actress. Prior to her acting career, she was crowned Miss Washington in 1971 and in September went on to become a top 10 finalist in the Miss America 1972 pageant. She tied for first in the swimsuit preliminary, which was eventually won by Miss Ohio Laurel Lee Schaefer. Her acting career is sprinkled with supporting roles in television, stage, and film. Buckner is probably best remembered for her role as high school cheerleader Patty Simcox in the 1978 summer blockbuster Grease, starring Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta. She also appeared as one of the Croftettes, who performed synchronized swimming routines on the Brady Bunch Variety Hour. Buckner died at the age of 72, and she died from short illness. Tribute to the Star Bill Holman was born on May 21, 1927, in United States. Holman was an American composer, arranger, conductor, saxophonist, and songwriter working in jazz and traditional pop. His career spanned over seven decades, starting with the Charlie Barnett Orchestra in 1950. Holman was the arranger and orchestrator on numerous albums that garnered Grammy nominations. He personally had 16 nominations in total and won three times. Holman's first nomination came in 1960 for Best Arrangement. He was the main contributor as an arranger, three tracks, to the 1963 Best Jazz Performance, Large Group, Instrumental Category, winning Stan Kenton album Adventures in Jazz. Holman was a contributing arranger for the 1970 Grammy Record of the Year, The Age of Aquarius by The Fifth Dimension. His first Grammy Award win came in 1988 for Best Instrumental Arrangement. In May 2000, the Bill Holman Collection of Scores and Memorabilia was established at the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. On January 12, 2010, the National Endowment for the Arts bestowed the 2010 NEA Jazz Masters Award on Bill Holman, the nation's highest honor for jazz and American music. Holman died at the age of 96, and he died naturally. Tribute to the Star
Darius Morris was born on January 3, 1991, in United States. Morris was an American professional basketball player. Morris was selected as the 41st pick in the 2011 NBA draft by the Los Angeles Lakers and played the point guard position. He also played for the Brooklyn Nets, Philadelphia, Los Angeles Clippers, and Memphis Grizzlies of the NBA, as well as the Los Angeles Defenders and Rio Grande Valley Vipers of the NBA D-League. He also played overseas in China, Russia, and France. On December 23, 2010, Morris was one of three Wolverines to make four three-point shots as the team set a school single-game record by making 16 against Bryant University. He also had 12 assists on his way to a double-double. On December 27, 2010, the Big Ten Conference named Morris Player of the Week. On February 1, 2011, the Wall Street Journal calculated that Morris was by far the most valuable player to his team among major conference players because his combined assists and field goals account for over 53% of his team's points. Morris died at the age of 33 and his cause of death is unknown. Tribute to the Star Bernard Hill was born on 17th of December 1944 in United Kingdom. Hill was an English actor. He played Theoden, King of Rohan, in the Lord of the Rings film trilogy, Captain Edward Smith in Titanic, and Luther Plunkett, the Warden of San Quentin Prison, in the Clint Eastwood film True Crime. Hill also played roles in television dramas, including Yasser Hughes, the troubled hard man whose life is falling apart in Alan Bleasdale's Boys from the Black Stuff in the 1980s, and more recently, as the Duke of Norfolk in the BBC adaptation of Hilary Mantel's Wolf Hall. In 1985, he played the lead role in a TV dramatization of John Lennon's life, A Journey in the Life. In addition to TV roles, Hill appeared on stage in The Cherry Orchard and the title roles in Macbeth and A View from the Bridge. In the mid-1990s, Hill began appearing in films more regularly. His first major role came in The Ghost and the Darkness, starring Val Kilmer and Michael Douglas. Hill then portrayed Captain Edward Smith in Titanic by James Cameron. Hill died at the age of 79, and he died naturally. Tribute to the Star Obi Eze was born on February 2, 1988, in United States. Eze was an American college football player who was a linebacker for the Michigan Wolverines. He was included on both the 2009 midseason and the 2009 preseason watch list for the Butkus Award. He ended his career as the Wolverines' active career leader in tackles. In high school, he played running back on offense more regularly than linebacker on defense. He shared running back duties as a sophomore and junior before becoming the starting running back as a senior at Catholic Central High School in Grand Rapids, Michigan. He established his school career rushing record of nearly 3,000 yards. As a senior, he scored a two-point conversion to give his school a one-point victory and a berth in the 2005 Michigan High School Athletic Association State Championship game at Ford Field. During the 2010 NCAA Division I FBS football season, he started the first six games for the 2010 Michigan Wolverines football team before losing the starting middle linebacker position to Kenny Demenz. Eze died at the age of 36, and he died from short illness. Tribute to the Star Brian Wenzel was born on 24 May 1929 in Australia. 
Wenzel was an Australian actor, comedian, director, and singer. He was in the entertainment business for 75 years, including circus, stage, television, and film, including made-for-TV movies and theatrical release films. After numerous character roles in Crawford Productions serials and films, and after appearing in the ABC serial Certain Women and the Young Doctors, he was cast in the permanent role of Frank Gilroy, an old-fashioned and upright police sergeant, later chef and barman, of the fictional Wandin Valley in a country practice, opposite co-star Lorray Desmond, which he played from 1981 to 1993. Wenzel had a small role in 1995 in Neighbors as Gordon Flakey the Clown Orchard, he was also briefly a cast member of Rove Live in 2009. Wenzel started acting professionally in 1946 when his first performance in an acting role came at the age of 17 in a comedy stage play. He subsequently appeared in numerous stage roles, musicals, pantomime and children's theater, including productions. Wenzel died at the age of 94 and he died from stroke. Tribute to the Star. Ian Gelder was born on 3rd June 1949 in United States. Gelder was a British actor. He was known for his numerous stage and screen roles, including Mr. Decker in Torchwood, Children of Earth, and Kevin Lannister in Game of Thrones. Gelder appeared in the television film Rumpole of the Bailey as Rumpole's university lecturer's son. He also played many other roles on stage and screen. His stage work includes The Low Road. From May to July 2014, he performed as Marcus Andronicus, brother of Titus, in Lucy Bailey's revival of her original 2006 production of Titus Andronicus at Shakespeare's Globe Theatre. After an absence of three years, Gelder reprised his role in the HBO series Game of Thrones in season five and season six as Kevin Lannister. Gelder guest starred in 12 episodes for the series. In 2019, he guest starred as librarian scholar Charles in the BBC TV series His Dark Materials, based on the critically acclaimed book trilogy by Philip Pullman. Gelder died at the age of 75, and he died from cancer. Tribute to the Star Marie Osmond has been talking a lot about her struggles with her weight and how she felt about her body for a long time. But in a recent interview, she shared that her problems were even worse than people knew before. She said, I've been really mean to my body over the years, especially when I was younger. She talked about how she developed a problem called body dysmorphia when she was trying to be famous. She felt like she had to be super skinny to be on TV or be liked by people. She even told a story about how people called her fat when she was only 103 pounds. Marie said she got really skinny, like down to 93 pounds, because she thought she had to. She felt really bad about herself when she looked in the mirror, but kept doing unhealthy diets for a long time. She said she finally stopped the cycle in 2007 when she tried a program called Nutrisystem. It helped her change her relationship with food. Now, she's the spokesperson for Nutrisystem and feels much better about herself. In the end, Marie says she's doing okay now and is happy to be alive. Thank you for joining us on episode of Fame Story TV, where we remember and pay tribute to the lives and stories of remarkable people who have left us today. If this video touched your heart, please consider honoring their memory by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next episode.